What is up guys, welcome back. Today we're breaking down the color grading for this music video. In my last video I showed you guys the behind the scenes, including the cinematography and lighting. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. But today we're really focused on color grading, so let's jump right in. Okay, so we're in Resolve and I'm not gonna show you everything exactly step by step, but what I am gonna show you is a few really powerful techniques that I've used throughout this music video. So we're gonna start off with this shot, which is one of my favorite shots from the music video. And this is the final look. And if we look at the log footage, then this is the before. This is straight out of camera. It's shot on the Ursa Mini. So this is essentially what the Rex 9 footage looked like. And I didn't really like the colors here. I feel like the blues are too magenta and the oranges are just too red. And I would like them to be more yellow and the blue to be more cyan. I think that would look better. So I made a few adjustments, not a huge difference there. Mainly I was pushing the uh, yellows a bit more towards where I wanted them and the blues as well but just a little bit as you can see. Then we have some sharpening, pretty standard, then some grain, and we have some halation going on. And then just a bit of, uh, of color from Juan Malara's Film Unlimited Power Grade. And then this node right here, which is the YUV colors, um, that's the most powerful node here. And if I turn it on, you can just see how it like completely changed all of the colors. This is before, and this is after so that's basically like the main component here with this look so i'm gonna break it down for you so what we have here essentially and this is something i learned from juan malara so this node is essentially in the yuv color space so if i right click and go to color space you can see that we're on the yuv color space and i don't want to pretend like i know everything about this it's still new to me but essentially when we go into that color space we have Y for luminance, U for the yellow and blue um, colors, and then V for the red and cyan. And basically with this color space, together with the channel mixer, we can shift these colors around and have them be responsive to, to each other. So they basically move together instead of just changing one of the colors individually, like you would uh, with the curves, for example, with the U versus U or U versus set. So this really shifts the colors around, but in a way that is really pleasing and that creates really nice color contrast. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's really, really easy and very powerful. Within just a few minutes, you can get really far and like get really powerful results from it. So I'm going to disable it and um, let's create a new node and I'm going to right click and then go into color space and go all the way down to YUV and then I'm going to go into the RGB mixer which is right there so now our red green and blue is essentially Y U and V which again stands for luminance for red for Y and then U is now the green channel and that's the yellow and blue axis and then blue is v which is red and cyan red and cyan is mostly what i want to be adjusting here and i'm just going to go for the red channel within the blue channel like within the blue output and again this technique is still new to me so i'm still not 100 percent sure what's exactly happening but just by playing around with things um, you can really start to understand what's going on so you can see if I bring it up, this is going very like red and purple. And if I turn it down, now we're really starting to get this yellow cyan kind of vibe. And that's, pre that's pretty much what I wanted. It, it only took a few seconds, which is pretty crazy. And let me just pop up the scopes so we can see what's going on. So this is what we have now and notice where the blues are and where the reds are. But if I turn off this node, just notice where all of the U's are. So that's that's after, that's before, that's after. So you can see we're really shifting this entire like U uh, sections together. So that creates a really seamless um, kind of color contrast, which is 
really nice instead of having to change every color individually, which tends to create um, a a lot of artifacts sometimes, and b it just doesn't really look right a lot of the times, especially if you're trying to really push something. Um, so this way you really get a very very nice and seamless um, response between the, the two opposite colors. So that's the main thing I wanted to show you, and then um, the next nodes. They don't do too much, you just get one node um, for a little bit of a better highlight roll off. You can see the curve going on here, um, some saturation and uh, some blur. I'm not sure if you can see, it's pretty subtle. Here yeah, we're going to be able to see it better. Yeah, so I'm just adding this blur on the edges just to create this little bit of like an amorphic distortion. And that's pretty much it for this shot. Um, and then one other thing I wanted to show you was um, these shots. You can see they have this really like gritty, like high contrast kind of look to them. And that's essentially a bleach bypass, which is a pretty old technique they used to do like back in the day in, in the film days. So I'm just gonna show you, this is uh, before the bleach bypass and this is after the bleach bypass. So to create the bleach bypass effect, we're going to create a new node, then we're going to press option L or probably Alt L if you're on Windows. That's going to create a layer mixer. We're going to right click, go to composite mode, then go to overlay. Then for the lower node, we're going to call it black and white and we're going to drop the saturation to zero. And now we have it full strength, doesn't look very good. so. What we're gonna do is just go to the key tab and we're gonna drop down the gain or essentially the opacity. So maybe something around here looks kind of cool. So if we do a before and after, this is the effect that we're getting. And that's the bleach bypass look. And one last thing I wanted to show you was this shot. So this is the grade I initially landed on and there was just something missing. I felt that everything is too much in the same color. There's not much of a, of a separation here like between her face and the background there, all the bottles. Just everything feels kind of washed up in this yellow color cast. So the first thing I thought about doing is neutralizing all of the highlights. Um, and that was this node. So you can see how now we have a much more clean looking image with all of the highlights looking more um, white, but just they still have a, like a yellow color, but compared to the before, um, we just have a cleaner version of that. And then now we can really get some nice separation between her face and the background because her face is still kind of yellow, pretty saturated, but the background is not as saturated as before. So you can see this is like pretty nice um, separation there. Whereas before it was just all kind of like the same color. So um, if you have something similar, then what you would do is just go to the curves and then um, go into luminance versus saturation and you can see i just kind of dropped the highlights there so basically you just drop the saturation on the brightest parts of the image so that's that and then i thought what else can i do to make her pop out and then i thought about just popping out her jacket because it does have a pretty strong red color that could really pop out more so then I just did that. So this is mainly U versus Sat. So um, this is only basically just a red saturation being brought up. And I think it also does a really good job of just separating her from the background and, you know, just drawing your eye more towards her. Um, so this is again, like before these two nodes, Everything's kind of washed out, kind of like the same color, not enough separation. Then we neutralized the highlights, popped out the reds, and um, this really made a big difference. 
But yeah, these are the main things I wanted to show you. Most of these shots are like they have the same kind of like no tree. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys the main things that I felt made a difference in this um, grading process. And hopefully you can take these techniques and apply them to your videos and your color grades. So that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this can help you in your color grading process. If you want to check out the full behind the scenes of this music video, there's a link down in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also subscribe for more of these videos. If you want to get my film emulation power grade, LUTs, film burns, film grain, and other amazing products around film, then check out our store, Century 8. There's going to be a link in the description. So make sure you check that out. And if you want to see what I'm doing daily behind the scenes, send me a DM, connect, then check out my Instagram. It's at a 96 But that is all for today. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'm going to see all of you in the next video.